Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing a highly awaited video. I've had so many requests from y'all to talk about Beauty Counter and I had never tried Beauty Counter products. I'd heard about them obviously um, and seen a lot of their stuff in social media, but I personally have never heard a lot from Beauty Counter and I had never tried anything. So I thought this was the perfect opportunity to try out just some of their cult classics um, within the range. I picked out a few makeup products. I'm gonna be showing you how I applied them. This is not a first impressions. This is an in-depth review. I've been testing out these products for a while now, and I definitely have some opinions on them. So grab yourself a beverage. This may be a little bit of a lengthy video because I wanna try and give you as much useful information as possible, and we're gonna go ahead and get started. So like I mentioned, I tried to pick up products that I felt were very popular within the brand and test those out. I also tried to pick products that I think are staples for people, so foundation, concealer, blush, products like that that people are going to use probably on an everyday basis. I did purchase these from a consultant. I will have all of her information listed below. She's seriously amazing. I actually met her through Instagram and she sent me a bunch of samples a while back. I tried them out and, but I never placed an order or purchased anything. And then I finally just made the jump and purchased a bunch of stuff. Beauty counter products are not cheap by any means. They are quite pricey. Clean beauty products are pricey as a whole basically um, but beauty counter products they're they're expensive and I had to pay shipping for everything they're very very proactive about changing the laws in terms of what goes into our beauty products right now it's kind of up to us it's our responsibility as consumers to look at the ingredient list and to decide is this good for me or is it not and beauty counter um, really advocates for changing the laws so that we as consumers don't have to have so much of that responsibility. Um, we don't have to worry about the ingredients that are in our products. So that is something that I do respect about them. And that is something that is a huge part of the company and all of their consultants are very involved in that as well. So I do like that. So starting off this makeup look today, this is not a review on this product, but this is a sample that I got with my order. So I thought I would go ahead and include it. This is the rejuvenating day cream. I used this as my moisturizer slash primer. It says use daily after cleansing, apply a small amount to the face, neck, neck and decolletage um so i really like this it has a nice fragrance to it it's not like perfumey by any means um because i don't believe any of their products contain fragrance um i'm looking at the back it does has it does has it does have rose flower oil magnolia oil uh, sweet almond oil, so that could be the fragrance that I'm smelling. Um, but I really liked it. The consistency was really nice. It had a nice slip to it, so I think this would be a really great product to apply under your makeup. Um, but again, this is not a review on this product. I've only used it once, but I do like it, and I'm wearing it today. And it applied really nicely, and I felt that it was very moisturizing as well. So moving on to the products that I'm actually reviewing and I did purchase. The first being the Beauty Counter Tint Skin Hydrating Foundation. This was a product that the consultant that I bought all my products through, she had given me a sample of a while back and I actually thoroughly enjoyed the sample. So I knew when I wanted to place an order, this was one of the products that I wanted to get. So with this foundation, you get 1.35 fluid ounces. I have the shade Sand and there are 10 total shades so it's not terrible um, obviously I would like to see more shades than 10 so it says a lightweight creamy foundation that actually cares for your skin this formula goes on seamlessly and blends effortlessly to cover imperfections and visually even out the skin tone it's buildable and natural looking it leaves you in control of the coverage um, I would rec I would actually agree with a lot of those claims. I love this product. Today I applied it with a brush, but I actually prefer to apply it with my hands. I know not everyone likes to apply their foundations with their hands, which is why I did it with a brush today. But just on an everyday basis, I've just been putting this in my hands and just blending it all over the face. It's really quick and easy. It honestly reminds me a lot of the IT Cosmetics CC Cream, which I used to love so, so much. And it wears a lot like the IT Cosmetics CC CC cream. It wears really well throughout the day. I've worn this several times for 
very, very, very long periods of time and I've also been wearing it outside in the hot Texas heat. I've been wearing it in situations where I've been sweating my butt off and it has not budged and I absolutely love this foundation. It's got a really nice dewy finish to it. Um, I believe on the website it says natural. I would say this is a pretty dewy finish. Um, it gives you light coverage. You can build it up a little bit, but you're not gonna get medium to full coverage. I mean, it's not a ton of coverage, but I think for just an everyday foundation, this is perfect. It's gonna show your freckles. It's gonna show any kind of hyperpigmentation or blemishes that you may have but it just looks like skin and i will say with this product i have worn this several times and chris did mention that my skin looked really really good and he said you don't look like you're wearing makeup your skin just looks very fresh and very natural absolutely love this i would highly recommend this is definitely one of the standout products for me um, it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous everyday foundation. I kind of wish this one had SPF. I know their Dew Skin has SPF, but that one is like super, super minimal coverage. That may be a future purchase of mine. Um, but yeah, this doesn't have SPF, so you definitely want to wear your SPF under this product. And then I don't know if I mentioned this, but this retails for $42. So the next product that I purchased, I was super excited about. I'd actually heard really great things about it. And I typically don't gravitate towards these types of products. In terms of concealers, I just need a concealer that's going to get the job done. I don't need any frills. I don't like concealers for highlighting. I like to get in there, tackle the dark circles, tackle the blemishes, get in, get out, like get the job done. So for me, I this is not a product that I would normally be drawn to, but I just heard so many great things about it that I knew I had to try this. So this is the Touch Up Skin concealer pen um, with this product you get 0 0.09 ounces which is not a lot at all so just for reference the pacifica concealer you get 0.26 ounces so you get more than double in the pacifica concealer so you're not getting a ton of product and this concealer retails for $33 so it's quite pricey as well um, but I'm going to read you a little bit about this and show you how I applied it so it says click cover correct dark circles redness and other imperfections are no match for this buildable medium coverage concealer in addition to providing flawless coverage it's formulated with not grass extract to help reduce the appearance of fine lines and photo aging so skin looks firmer brighter and instantly more even the click pen design and brush applicator make it easy to apply just the right amount exactly where you need it now I'm not a huge fan of the click pen packaging I don't know what it is about it it's just not my favorite I like a doe fit applicator or just a cream concealer that I can like get my finger in and apply so this is not my favorite packaging however I really really like this concealer I got the shade light I wish I would have gotten a shade darker they do have six shades um, I got the shade light, which is the second lightest shade. I kind of wish I would have gotten medium one, which actually looks kind of dark. So I'm probably in between light and medium one. Um, but this for me is a little bit light. I like a concealer that's the same shade as my skin. But aside from the shade, this is a beautiful concealer. This is not just a kind of barely there concealer that you just kind of use to highlight or something like that. I feel like with click pen concealers that I've used in the past, they're just very lackluster. Like you apply it, they're fun to apply. You've got the click pen, it's in this beautiful gold packaging, all that stuff. But I find that in the past with products that look like this, I've never really seen incredible results. And with this concealer, I've seen such great results. I would definitely agree that this has medium coverage. I think you have to layer it a little bit and build it up. And I think if I had a shade that was closer to my skin tone, I would have seen more coverage. With lighter concealers, it can be hard to really see the coverage. But I love this concealer. I've been reaching for this every single day along with the foundation. It's got a really nice, very natural, borderline dewy finish, um, but it's pretty natural looking. And I just think the combination of the foundation and the concealer is absolutely incredible. The concealer is very, very pricey. You're not getting a ton of product. So that is a huge downside for me. But I really, really do love this concealer. It's, it's such a nice product and it surprised me a lot. I did not think I was going to like it as much as I did.
So today I did apply a little bit of powder. I applied my Lawless Seal the Deal Loose Setting Powder. I just applied this to my under eye area, my chin, and a little bit on my forehead, where I tend to get a little bit of, a little bit oily throughout the day. I find that I can actually wear this without powder throughout the day, but if I'm gonna be outside in the heat, or just doing a lot of activities. I definitely want to set my T-zone, otherwise the products tend to move around. But just on an everyday basis, when I'm maybe out running errands, or I'm just out with the family, or something like that, honestly, I don't really feel the need to set the concealer and the foundation. After I set my face with my powder, I went in with the uh, Satin Powder Blush. I got the shade Nectar because um, this is the blush that I've really seen the most hype around and the color just really intrigued me. It's just one of those kind of perfect everyday peachy pink shades and it's got a slight gold shimmer to it. So there are seven other shades in this blush range and I think the shades are really nice. You've got some nice kind of more nude dusty shades and then you've got some more kind of colorful pops. So I really like that this blush does retail for $30 which again is kind of pricey but you do get um, quite a bit of product and this blush reminds me so much of NARS Orgasm which is a cult classic. I know a ton of people love that blush. This reminds me so much of that blush. Um, it's not as deep. Um, I think this is a little bit of a lighter pink. I feel like Orgasm is a little bit more rich, but I feel like this has the same exact effect on the skin. I'm not wearing any highlight today. I'm only wearing this blush, and it does give the cheeks a subtle bit of glow because of the gold shimmer within this. So I really, really like this blush. Um, it is very, very pigmented. You need the tiniest little bit on your brush to get color payoff so just make sure you don't go too heavy handed with this because you're going to get a lot of color all at once and it can be a little bit hard to blend out if you apply too much on the cheeks which is what i did the first time when i was trying this out i kind of went heavy handed and it was a little bit harder to blend out it is a drier formula and when you put your brush into the pan you're not going to get any kick up like it's a very very dry solid formula it wears pretty decently i find that blush is the first thing to kind of leave my face and with this product it was no different i um throughout the day i did notice that my blush was fading a little bit but i still really really like this blush and i love this color this is going to be a great color for the summertime do i think it's worth thirty dollars I don't know. I mean, there's so many great clean blushes out there. It is uh, pretty pricey for what you're getting, but it is an awesome product and I would recommend it. So the last product that I picked up is actually new to the brand. I believe they just launched this not too long ago, um, but this is the Brilliant Brow Tinted Brow Gel and I got the shade Dark. So there are four shades in this brow gel and then there's a clear version. Um, this is a very, very intense brow gel for me when i'm using brow gels i like to go in with my brow gel first apply my pencil or my powder and then go back in with my brow gel and just set everything in place with this one i find that i cannot do that i have to fill in my brows with either a powder or a pencil and then go in and fluff up my brows and set them in place because it is a very very creamy formula and I find that if I go in on my naked brow hairs, for some reason, it just gets super, super messy. I don't know, it's like, it almost needs something to grab onto. So whether a brow pencil or a pomade or a powder, it almost needs something to grab onto. And I find that it's the least messy that, that way. Now it might be just because it's a brand new tube. It may need to dry out a little bit, kind of like a mascara. Maybe after this dries out for a little bit, um, it will be a little bit easier to work with. However, with that being said, I absolutely love this. As you can see from the demo, my brow hairs are standing straight up. This creates the most beautiful, feathery, fluffy, like model brow. I really, really like this. It honestly reminds me a lot of the ColourPop Brow Boss Gel, so if you ever tried that, this is very, very similar in formula as well as um, the actual applicator of the brow gel. Um, you don't get a ton of product in here, which is unfortunate because this retails for $24. So this is 
pricey. This is very, very pricey. Y'all know I love to do soap brows, so this is like the cheapest brow gel you're ever gonna find. You can get this for like a dollar. It's just a bar of glycerin soap. You can take a spoolie just like this, and you can create your own brow gel, and super, super affordable, very, very effective. So for me, spending $24 on a brow gel is Ooh, it's 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 a little hard um, so I probably won't repurchase this in the future just because it doesn't it doesn't do anything different than what I could get from my soap brow but I do think it's awesome I think it really works I and mean, you can see my brows today it really really works and I have been using it because it is going to give you color it is going to fill in any gaps and it is going to set your brow hairs in place so I do like that about it a lot it's just it's a little pricey for me and my cheap but this is honestly the best brow gel out there and it's so so affordable but it's not the most convenient. Having a brow gel like this is very, very convenient. Um, so I do like that about it, but um, it's just a little pricey for me. All right, guys, so I think I've talked your ears off enough. I hope that this video was helpful. I know I didn't try a ton. I just tried to pick out the staples that I thought would be the most interesting for y'all. So hands down, the two standout products for me are the Tint Skin Hydrating Foundation. I absolutely love this. I think it's worth every penny. I wish it had SPF. I think that would just make it even better um, because then you would have your SPF and your foundation all in one. I also think it's quite moisturizing, so you could probably even skip your moisturizer. And then the Touch Up Concealer Pen, the one that I did not have high hopes for, and I absolutely loved it. I think this is such a great concealer. It's really great for a natural, everyday look. This is definitely not a full coverage concealer, but I just love the way that this looks on the skin. I don't think you absolutely need this. I mean, there are so many great concealers that I love that are a lot more affordable and you get more product, but I think if you're wanting to try something from Beauty Counter, foundation and the concealer, um, these are so, so good. And I, like when I get ready and I do my makeup, I get excited to pull these out. I don't know what it is. It's just, they're fun to apply. They just make my skin look beautiful. They give me a little bit of like a confidence boost when I wear them, just because I know they look so good on my skin and I know they're gonna look good throughout the day and they're gonna wear well, so I don't have to worry about them. And as a mom, it's really nice when you're not constantly having to look at your makeup, make sure that everything is still where it needs to be. These really just get in there and get the job done and they make your skin look so, so beautiful. All right, that completes this very long video. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I'm very sorry that my schedule has been a little bit off lately. Um, just things have been so crazy with the kids not being in school and it being summertime, which I'm sure you, you moms understand. Um, but I'm really trying to stick to my schedule, do three videos a week. So um, I appreciate your patience. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all very, very soon. Bye guys.